And in this video, I want to go over what is perhaps the most frequently asked question related to Qiskit. And uh, this question has to do with the way Qiskit orders its qubits. So I want to go over a couple of examples of how this question usually shows up. So someone asks, I run a state vector simulation for the following circuit. And you have no gates on the qubit here on the top and then a Hallamar gate on the qubit at the bottom. And then I got the following output state, one over root two, zero, zero, plus one, zero. But the correct result should be one over root two, zero, zero, plus zero, one. So as you can see, this person is confused because the, the qubit order in, in the second part of the superposition was reversed. Another way this question shows up is when looking at operators. So for example, when looking at the operator of the C0 gate that has the control qubit at the top and the target qubit at the bottom, um, someone got this, this matrix and says that it's clearly wrong and that the actual, the correct ma matrix should be this one at the bottom. As you can see, they're different, right? The, here, if you look at the second column, this one shows up in the bottom row, whereas in this second matrix, that one shows up in the second row. So uh, I want to I wanna go um, over this in, in detail. So let, let's take a look at it. So Qiskit qubit ordering, and I want to uh, break up this, this video into two parts. One where we just give the, the straight answer of why is this different, and then a second video where I go into a lot more detail. And um, so, so for this, let's, let's look at an example and compare you know, the way Qiskit organizes things compared to how everyone else, everyone else organizes qubits. And, you know, by everyone else, of course, I mean every reference I've, I've uh, come across with. So, uh, for example, textbooks like David Merman's or Nielsen and Chuang or Jack Hillary's, even Robert's, Robert Suter's textbook, and, you know, he's uh, from IBM, even his textbook uses this uh, other notation, not the one using Qiskit. The only exception when it comes to textbooks I've seen is a newly released textbook by Tom Wong, uh, in which he uses the same nomenclature as Qiskit. Um, but other than that, even online courses on Coursera and edX, uh, everything I've seen uses this, this other notation. So let's go over an example. Let's say we have four qubits and we have a circuit, let's say, with some gates, let's say an X gate, a Hadamard gate, and let's say now we have, a, I don't know, a CX gate and maybe a Toffoli gate here on the last qubit. Let's now draw our qubit lines here. This is just a random circuit, so it doesn't matter where, where these are, but let's say we label the qubits uh, for the circuit with some arbitrary names. So let's say this is qubit A, qubit B, qubit C, and qubit D. And let's do the same for, you know, the way everybody else does this. Let's just copy the same circuit. Doesn't matter what the circuit is. It's just some arbitrary circuit. And, and let's use, for now, let's use different labels. Let's call this W, X, Y, and Z. So in Qiskit, if you have your qubits with a, some order going from top to bottom, so, so let's say here we're Label th labeling things from top to bottom, the way you organize the state vector or the ket representation of, of uh, let's say, the input state will be going from actually from right to left. So we would have here a state vector D, C, B, A, which, you know, is equivalent to having the state vector D tensored C tensored B tensored A, right? So as you can see here, the, the qubit that we have here on the top is now here um, on the right, and then you move from right to left when you're moving from top to bottom. And the way everybody else does this is if you're going from top to bottom, the way you organize this cat is actually from left to right. So you would have W, X, Y, and Z. And, um, you know, the reason this ordering is important is not just because the, the qubits, um, 
where they go in, in the kit are going to be different. Also, the unitaries or the operators of, of full circuits are going to be different. So, um, you know, let's let's do a specific uh, way of ordering things. Uh, let's just say, uh, you know, in Qiskit, instead of these labels A, B, and C, we actually have, you know, qubit 0, qubit 1, qubit 2, qubit 3. Then the way this state vector will be arranged will be Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0. And the way um, this is ordered is, is known as little endian notation. So what I want to do in the next video is go into a little bit more detail into what this is and also go over some examples show how in Qiskit you could actually reverse the ordering of the qubits so uh, you get uh, something equivalent to what everybody else does and also explain why would Qiskit do things this way uh, or at least why I think they do it this way and, and why it's beneficial in, in some circumstances. And uh, lastly, I also want to clarify that uh, you know, here in, in this representation that I call, you know, everybody else's, there's actually, you know, two ways of doing this. Uh, they're, they're equivalent to each other, but one uses, you know, this, this little, also uses this little Indian notation, and the other one uses what is called as big Indian notation. It's just the way things are arranged in the circuit itself um, is different. So uh, if, if this answers your question, great. Uh, if you want more details, uh, go ahead and, and watch the next video.